Hi, this is Brian Ireson. I'm one of the instructors with the Computer Workshop. In today's video, I'm going to address a question that was asked in relation to an earlier video on Visio. The video in question is Shape Data and Custom Stencils Using or in Microsoft Visio. So to begin with, I'm going to just point out that I have reopened that drawing and we have our shapes in here and we want to see the shape data window so the easiest way for us to access the shape data window is to simply select and right click on a given shape using the right click menu locate data and then shape data from the flyout this opens the shape data window in this case, we can see that the shape data window has several fields and labels associated with them. If you would like to learn more about how these fields were created in specific relation to this type of shape object, please refer to the video mentioned earlier. Now the question that we have that we are going to be addressing is when importing our data from an external source, in this case it will be an Excel spreadsheet, how do we link these two together, the spreadsheet and our drawing? Now there are two methods to do this. One is a quick method and the other is a step-by-step -step wizard. And I will be taking the quick method as it makes the most sense. So to begin with, I want to point out that there is one crucial factor that we have to keep in mind. When we are creating the customized shape data, we want to take a look at the original Excel document or database and determine what the column headers or field labels are so that we can use the exact same labels here in our shape data window and this will allow the data to be mapped easily from the data source to the shape itself. Now in this case I'm going to bring the Excel workbook into view. So now with the Excel spreadsheet in view I want you to notice that we have the column labels here in the Excel file and they are exact matches all except for the date of purchase I'm going to leave here in the Excel file as purchase just so that there is a mismatch so that we can determine our best method of fixing that situation. With this in mind I'm now going to go ahead and close the Excel file and I'm going to switch from the home tab over to the data tab here in my Visio drawing. So bringing the data tab into play, I'm going to note that the first group of commands is related to external data. You can see here is the quick import option. You also have a custom import. Using the custom import will open a step-by-step -step wizard that will allow you to connect to other sources besides an Excel spreadsheet. And you, of course, can refresh your data from here. Now, I'm going to use the custom import real quick just to show you so you can connect to an Excel workbook, access, data, access database, SharePoint foundation list, SQL server, and so on. So you have the ability to connect to more sources using this method. Going through next, as you can see, this is a step-by-step -step wizard. You would browse to your source and so on and so on. For now, I'm going to cancel out of the data selector and I'm going to instead use the quick import option from that external data group on the data tab. This does reopen the data selector window and it is really directed directly at an Excel workbook. We don't really have a lot of other choices in this case. So the quick, quick import 
is really when you are going to connect to an Excel data source. If you want to connect to a different data source, you would use the custom import and then select the appropriate data source type and move through the process. Now in my case, I'm going to simply click browse and I'm going to locate my Excel file. So in this case, I'm connecting to that little Visio sample data file and simply clicking done. This is going to identify the data within the Visio sample data, import the data rows, link to the shape diagram, and apply any data graphics. Once all of these have completed successfully, you will see check marks. If any problems arise during this process, you may need to cancel and then use the custom import and walk through the process a little bit more pointedly. For our case here, you can see everything is completed successfully, so we're simply going to be able to click on the Done button. This opens two new windows in our Visio drawing. The first will be the external data window. This shows us all the data, each record, and then we will also see the data graphic window, which in this case we are not going to be showing the data graphic on our drawing. Simply close this. Now with just the external data, we can click on an individual record and drag it over onto our selected shape. And this will associate all of the data correctly to each of the fields in the shape data window. Do note that the date of purchase is left blank and a new field has been added straight from the Excel file itself entitled Purchase. Now one way that we can simply make a modification here to remove the date of purchase field is to right click on our shape, use the data option in the right click menu, and choose to define the shape data. We can scroll through the list of existing data fields and simply select the one we no longer wish to use and delete it. And then we can simply select the new one and reword the label. Clicking OK, you can see that that has very quickly resolved our issue. We also can see that this is showing us some data graphics that we don't want associated with our shape. So we will simply right click on our shape again, go back into the data option, and remove the data graphic. And that is going to conclude today's tutorial. I hope that helps anybody out there who is bringing in data and associating it with their shapes. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see upcoming videos that we release every Friday, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Facebook and LinkedIn, as well as Instagram. If you would like to learn more about classes that we have available, please feel free to visit us at tcworkshop.com. Until next time, Take care for now.